Hey there, Atlas Blade here, and we're in Liwe to continue the card snatching. Yeah, the event, the event that I'm lagging behind deeply on. So let's just get to it. Hello, Liwe. As it is. Where merchants flock and all ships dock. Now I understand what that saying was trying to describe. Still, nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. It is pretty. Who's this? Ah, Hu Tao. Welcome to Li Oh no, bye when. I hope you had a smooth journey. Lady Ning Wang instructed me to wait for you here. Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's Ning Wang's secretary! Bye! Uh, <laughs> which bye is it again? Yeah, they're all bye. It's bye when. I assist Lady Ningguang with collecting and organizing intelligence. Not much intelligence going here. That's right, Bai Wen! Paima remembers now. The other two are Bai Xu and Bai Xiao. Good guy. Lady Ningguang? You mean Tian Xuan of the Liyue Qixing? Yeah, we're kind of close. We got, we're, we're kind of like this, yeah. Yep, we're besties. But why does Ningguang want to see us? Wait, and how does she even know that we'd be arriving in Liyue Harbor today? She knows everything. Lady Ningguang likes to stay informed. Yep. Nothing slips through her intelligence network. She wishes to invite our visitor from Fontaine, Mademoiselle Charlotte, to join her at Eugene Terrace to discuss cooperation. Ooh. Hmm. What would she want with me? This is the first time I've ever been to Liyue Harbor. Yeah. Lady Ningguang has known of you for quite some time. A talented and capable journalist with the Steambird who writes insightful, engaging, and, most importantly, factual prose. She rather admires your work. Ooh. She also understands that in revealing the truth, your exclusive news, you have offended some interested parties that have been pulling strings behind the scenes. And that is why you have been sent on an international reporting trip to cover the genius invocation <laughs> TCG events. <laughs> Outed. Wait, what? That's terrible. Oh, poor Charlotte. No, no, it's just part of the job. I'm already used to it. Yeah. If you go reporting the truth, someone's gonna hate you for reporting the truth. But I'm surprised to learn that Lady Ningguang knows so much about my situation. Does she know my boss or something? She knows everything. <laughs> Paima wouldn't be surprised. She seems to know everyone and everything. Yep. Lady Ningguang also welcomes the two of you to join, if you're interested. Yeah, we're kind of roped into this already. Oh. You didn't tell me you were best buddies with Lady Ningguang. We are. We're besties. Nothing. Come on. Oh, Paima wouldn't go that far. We've just been invited to the Jade Chamber as honored guests a couple times. You know. <laughs> Enough with the humble bragging. No, let's keep humble bragging. I. Uh, but anyway, if Ningguang wants to discuss work stuff with Charlotte, it's probably going to be best if we stay out of the way, right? Maybe we can go ask around about the card snatcher while you have your meeting with Ningguang. No, oh, that makes sense. Oh, are you sure? Yep. No trouble at all. We can check out some old haunts. All right, thanks. Then I'll leave you to it. Let's catch up and swap notes later. I'm actually pretty excited to meet Lady Ningguang, so I don't want to keep her waiting. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very well. Please, Mademoiselle Charlotte, follow me. Okay. See you two later. Sounds like Charlotte's a top-notch journalist, huh? Paimon's not sure what that exclusive news is all about, but it definitely sounds like a big deal. And if she manages to write up an article about this card snatcher case, we'll be featured in her exclusive news too! Yeah! Oh, it feels like we're about to become famous. We're already famous. Yep, you're right. Okay, why don't we start asking around at the docks? There's always a lot of people coming and going. Maybe someone's seen people trading cards there. Okay, roll. A sea of new queens is whatever. Oh, okay. This looks like the part of the story where I hopelessly look for exposition. Let's go. Hey there, got a question for you. Ah, uh, hello. Ask away. If it's fish you want. It's not fish. Uh, actually, it's not about fish. We were just wondering, since you're here all day running your stall, have you seen anyone collecting card backs for Genius Invocation TCG? Genius Invocation TCG. Hmm. Afraid I don't know anything about that. People come here for black back bass, but not card backs. Okay. Really? Sorry to bother you then. We'll try our luck somewhere else. Oh, God. This isn't annoying when you're looking for exposition and you don't even get exposition. 
don't you want to buy some fish to take with you? All my fish are super fresh, you know. Yeah, yeah, bye, Uncle Sun. Who's next? Go on, hi. Hi there! We'd like to ask you about something. Hmm? Oh, sure, ask away. The ship's already set sail anyway, so I've got all the time in the world. Have you seen anyone around here recently collecting card backs? You know, for that really popular game, Genius Invocation TCG? Collecting card backs? Hmm. I've definitely seen people around here playing the game, but I'm usually preoccupied with thinking about the sea. I've never paid too much attention to it. Wow, you guys are a fountain of useless information. That's fine. We'll ask someone Just like else. me. Oh, I really can't afford to wake up late next time. You, Millilith, young man. What do you know? Can we ask you a do you know anything? Sure, go ahead. I'll. Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, answer as best I can. Cover your freaking face. There's a, there's a virus going around. I mean, I think guess it's died out, but still. Have haven't you, you learned? Have you here collecting card backs for Genius Invocation TCG recently? Card backs? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. That's just rude. Sorry. Just before, <coughs> a girl in Inazuman attire walked by, and I've oh. <laughs> been sneezing nonstop since. He's allergic. Well, take care of yourself and get well soon. We'll keep asking around. I'll be all right. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never <coughs> prevail. God, that was a cough. That was not an achoo. Well, this got off to a Kitty. slow start. Let's try somewhere else. Yeah. Hey, you two. Looking whoa. for someone? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Is that? Paimon knows that voice. It's Kazuma. Hey, Kaz. I may not get you on your rerun. <laughs> nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Uh, it's been too long. Yeah. Captain Beto needed to return to Liyue to take care of some business, so I've been taking the chance to get to walk around town. It's a nice surprise to run into you two here. Looks like you have questions. May I be of any help? Okay. Well, long story short... <sighs> I see. Well, the harbor breeze is as peaceful and pleasant as ever. I don't believe that the card snatcher you're looking for has been through here. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if that's good news or bad in your eyes. Oh, by the way, it seems there's a competition being held nearby. I stopped to have a look. This genius invocation TCG. It seems to be immensely popular at the moment. It is? Wait, have you never played it before, Kazuha? No, I haven't. I have quietly observed from the side. As you always have. The captain brought a small box aboard recently that contained a variety of beautifully illustrated cards. She enjoys playing with the crew while enjoying a few drinks. A few too many, perhaps. That's a horrifying thought. That's called a casket of tomes. It's what you use to carry your cards in. And it helps you find players nearby, too. You should give it a try, Kazuha. The rules are pretty easy to pick up, and then you'll have a fun game to play with your friends. This is a perfect chance to learn. Oh. Hmm. Forging friendship through card-based combat does sound quite delightful. All right, then. Show me the ropes, if you please. Oh, do I get to play DCG with Paimon's Kazuha? Paimon's you. Paimon's watched the Traveler play a ton of times, so even Paimon's a master invocator now. What's with this mug look on my face? That's the first time I've ever seen that. After we teach you the rules, we'll also have to get you a casket of tomes. But what about this card snatcher you're looking for? Is not dealing with that more urgent at present? Yeah, but I want to play cards too. Oh, good point. <laughs> Paimon got so caught up chatting with our old friend that she nearly forgot about our promise to our new friend. Hmm. Now where should we go next? Kirara, there she is. Huh? Hey, look over there. Isn't that the Inazuman courier who Diodo was chatting with back in Mondstadt? What's she doing here? Doing courier stuff. Huh. I just noticed the logo at her waist. Isn't that Komania Express? Huh? Do you know that company, Kazuma? Yeah, she's from Inazuma. Yes, I've heard of it. They provide delivery services in Inazuma. And now all around the world. Hmm. Looks like she's having some trouble. Why don't we go and introduce ourselves? Yay, new friend. I'm coming, new friend. You will accept my friendship. I've already pulled you. Hmm. 
Which way is it from here? Hello! Hey there! You look lost. Need any help? You <laughs> frightened the life out of me! Huh? Oh, I recognize you. Weren't you at the Catskill and Mondstadt? Yeah, I live there. Yep! Paimon's name is Paimon, and these two are the Traveler and Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a strange coincidence running into you again. Yeah, it is. Hello. Hello. My name's Kirara. I'm a courier for Inazuma's Komania Express. I know Komania Express is widely praised for its punctual and safe delivery services, but I wasn't aware that the company had started operating internationally. Wow, it's rare to meet a fellow Inazuman abroad. Our company just recently began expanding its services overseas. Which is great for me, because now I basically get paid to travel all around the world! That sounds fun. Only downside is, I sometimes get a bit lost when it's my first time in a new city. Makes sense. Sometimes, when I'm running late, I even have to change back into my original form and climb over walls to make sure the parcel's on time. Ah. Uh, do you happen to know the way to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I feel like I've been going in circles all day. <laughs> do I? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, I know that place like the back of my hand. Let's go! Yeah, we know the place! You will? Oh, thank you so much! To the crazy girl that loves dead people! Let's go! Down hey, who the oh. dice spin around While high in the sky the sun shines bright Hmm... That last line could use some work Oh my god, is she trying to rap again? No! No more of this, please! No more! Don't, please don't tell me she starts rapping White's the Traveler in Paimon. What brings you here? Destiny. And I see you've brought some friends, clients, Good business God. partners, new associates. Hu Tao, calm down. <laughs> Maybe leave the introductions to Paimon. This is Kaidahara Kazuha, and this is Kirara. A little delayed on the audio, but okay. Hello. It is an honor to meet you. Oh, he's, she has never met Kazuha before. Okay. Greetings, old friends and new. So, what brings you all to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor this fine day? Not business. Wait, well, don't tell me. Is it our latest promotion? Well, I'm touched that you journeyed all this way. No, it's not. No, it's not. Please no, don't. No, we were just giving Kirara directions. Hello, ma'am. Are you Director Huta of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? I'm your Komania Express Courier, and we have a delivery for you. I just need to ask you for a signature. Let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting this. Delivery services these days make everything so much easier. I used to have to send my consultant running to and fro for this kind of thing. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your oh. company in terms of delivering oh. different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? <laughs> My god. Uh-huh. Uh... Don't, let's not creep the girl out. are standing up on end. <laughs> Guess that's a no. Well, maybe we can talk about potentially expanding your company's services sometime. She's just a courier. She doesn't own the company. Could I trouble you to take a moment and leave a five-star review? Oh. Five stars? Well, that's an odd number. Let's make it an even six. No, much too low. Service this good deserves at least eight. In fact, nine. One extra for going the extra mile. What? Uh, what? I thought you had a problem with an odd number, but you end up on nine? Oh, five stars will be plenty, really. But your enthusiasm means a lot. All right. I should be on my way now. Thanks again for the directions. Do you handle all of these deliveries? No. Uh, not necessarily. Business has been picking up lately, so the company has hired lots of new staff. But I handle all the international deliveries because I'm the quickest. I am a yokai after all. So chances are that we'll see you on the road again soon. Cool. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Although, uh, hopefully next time it won't be because I'm lost. Hopefully. Goodbye. I heard you reciting a poem just now, Director Who. May I ask from where you drew your inspiration? Oh, do you share a liking for poetry as well? Please just be poetry. Once in a while, I throw words at each other and see what sticks. Ah, uh, yeah. There's no need for self-deprecation. 
I've seen people from all walks of life. And I can tell just from the way your sleeves flutter in the wind that you are a man of culture. <laughs> a man of culture. Anyway, I'm preparing for the tournament final that will be held shortly. Anyone feeling poetic? I need ideas. There's a poetry tournament? Tournament final? Ooh, you mean the Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Yeah, that's the one. What? My what does poetry have to do with this? Small fry. Most of the time, he's so unassuming, you couldn't pick him out of a crowd. But during this tournament, it's like he sprang up out of the ground like a whopper flower and took the competition completely by surprise. So I have a strong feeling that this will be a tough battle to win. Is it Timmy again? Then shouldn't you be focusing on your strategy? How is writing poetry gonna help? Yeah. Because skill doesn't thrill unless you've also got style. Yeah, sure. What? Let me give you an example you'd be more familiar with. To make a great dish, it takes not just flavor, but presentation, too. Ever heard the saying it takes two flint to light a fire? The same principle applies when you're trying to make an impression. Hmm. That sounds like it makes sense. Or does it? Oh, Paimon can never tell with who tell. Hmm. In duels to the death, some samurai pay each other respects before the fight. Often, the two opponents find they have much in common. Uh, okay. I, mm. How's this connecting? See? New guy gets it. What did I say? A man of culture. I guess I'm not a man of culture. You flatter me, Director Who. In my humble opinion, you could try incorporating your competitive aspirations into your lines. Or perhaps some words to intimidate your opponent. Can this, can this not be what I have to do right now? Oh, we have an expert among us. Hey, why don't you play a match with me? It'll help me warm up and maybe find some creative inspiration. Oh, he doesn't play yet. As much as I'd like to oblige, I'm afraid that I haven't played before. I don't even have my own deck. You can use my deck, but I, 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 I haven't fixed it. Perfect! Paima really wants to watch you play. How about Paima gives Kazuo a crash course right now? Kitties again! Since everyone is so willing to offer their help, how can I refuse? Okay. Do so I play? There you have it. Those are the rules. Paimon also included a few little tips and tricks she's picked up from watching the Traveler play. Well, think you can handle it from here, Kazuha? What's the tip and trick? <laughs> when all else fails, panic? I think I've got it. Thank you, Paimon Sensei. Please don't call her that again. <laughs> wow, Paimon's never been called that before! And you will never be again! Well, Kazuha, ready to go one-on-one -on -one against Liyue's most notorious backstreet poet? The backstreet poet. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> It's like the ancient century boy band. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, Director Who. Any last words before the duel begins? Good luck. <sighs> one moment. Okay, I think I've got something. Wow, that was fast. All right, say your piece, Challenger. Whoa, things are really heating up. Is it? <sighs> Minds like sharp blades clash. Friendship forged through cards and dice. Autumn leaves burn bright. Oh, it's a haiku. I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. <laughs> <laughs> the birds are chirping, the weather's so nice. Watch me roll six pyro dice. Director Hu of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is ready for battle. Ah, so then she's got like a classic poem that rhymes. Bit of a jarring change of genre there. <laughs> My turn. Chi? Oh, I don't get to play, I just get- I don't even get to watch them play. Okay. Does he win, does he lose? I don't- <sighs> I am defeated. Oh, no! It's no wonder that Director Who has earned a spot in the tournament finals. I guess. Talk about an exciting match, though! Good thing I was able to send off all those summons of yours. Yeah, my deck does have a lot of summons. I have to say, it's hard to believe that this was your first time playing. I owe it all to Paimon Sensei's teaching. You really mean that? Yay! <laughs> oh, Paimon says that Eagle's so inflated. She's floating. Hey! Paimon's always been able to float in the air. <sighs> well, Kazuha, did 
did you enjoy Genius and Vacation TCG? Yes, indeed. There is a good variety of card abilities, and the tempo of the match can swing in an instant. I understand now why it's become so popular across Tavat. Oh, seems the world's gained yet another TCG player. Oh, Kaching! Kaching! When did you get here? Shortly after these two had begun their match, everyone seemed so focused on the game that I didn't want to interrupt. You must be Kaidehara Kazuha. Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to finally meet you. Please, the honor is all mine. I have heard great things about the esteemed Yuhang from Captain Beto. Just call me Kuching. You played very well indeed, considering it was your first time. Well, tell where are you going? I'm impressed. If we ever have the opportunity, I too would like to play a match with you. Wow, Kazuha's already lined up his next opponent. Why so surprised? Practically everyone at Yujing Terrace is playing Kuta, what are you Vacation doing? TCG these days. I also play from time to time, when time permits. It would be my pleasure to join you for a match. However, I can't borrow the Traveler's deck forever. Our match might have to wait until after I manage to obtain my own casket of tomes. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. When we get back to the tournament venue, I'll ask a member of the Genius Invocation TCG Society to provide one for you. And please don't think about returning the favor. I assure you, it's no inconvenience. Besides, a friend of the Traveler is a friend of us all. And so begins Kazwa's TCG journey. I am grateful for your kindness, Kuching. Pleasure. Also, Hu Tao, the final is about to start. I just came to make sure you're aware. What the fuck are you doing? Don't worry. It might look like my mind's on other things, but I'm still listening. Thorough preparation is the key to victory, after all. Will you all be coming with us to the venue? Yeah, there's something I wanted to discuss first. All right. Back to the task at hand. Yep. Um, we're investigating a card snatcher. Have any of you seen someone going around collecting genius invocation card backs recently? Card backs? You mean like the kind with the treasure chest design on it? That's the one! Yes, exactly. That's the one. Funny. The word snatcher didn't come to mind when I saw him. He struck me as more of a potential client. Everyone's a potential client to you. I saw him playing a match against Chang Yun this morning. He said that whoever lost would have to hand over their card back. It was close, but he managed to beat Chang Yun in the end. After the match, he wiped the sweat from his forehead, took the card back from Chang Yun, and left. Oh. Sounds like we need to go talk to Chang Yun then. Yeah. In that case, Try Uwang Hill. I think that's where he should be. Okay. If I may ask, what else is this alleged card snatcher suspected of doing? Um, we don't know too much about him, apart from his obsession with card backs. But apparently, he's stolen other players' cards before. <sighs> I see. I'll inform the Millilith to be on the lookout for this individual. But while he's still at large, make sure you stay safe. I can kick ass. I think I'll go with the Traveler to Uwang Hill. Oh, All right. thanks, Kaz. See you later. Good luck in the final, director. With so many people rooting for me, I'm sure the match will be over before I can say you. Bye bye. Have a good time. All right, let's go find Chong Yun. Yep. Oh, it's Chong Yun along with crying child. <laughs> Why are you making that child cry, Chong Yun? Hey. Don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. Oh, okay, never mind. Chongyun, we found you! Wait, Little Fang, isn't that- Paimon, Traveler, and- This dude. Hello, I am Kaedahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chongyun, an exorcist from Liyue. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide and seek. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told Little Yu not to hide anywhere too far away, but I've looked everywhere. And I still can't find her. Uh-oh. It could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. Yeah, there's a freaking... Um, we'll all look for her, too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah. I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. Oh, good on you for peeking. Okay, then let's start looking in that direction. Yeah. Good thing you were peeking. What's this? Little you? I found her! Oh no, that's a mushroom. Hmm. A snapped branch no. and oh. some trampled it's grass. Mushroom. It looks like the girl was hiding here. No. Guess that means we're on the right track. 
Ah, what the fuck? Not the treasure hoarders again. Oh, let's hope little you didn't run into them. Oh, hell no. Move. Here you are. Done. Seriously, why are we always running into these guys? Hey, everyone. Have a look at this. Okay, what do you see, chum? What's that? Are those genius invocation cards? Oh. Oh, I know that one. It belongs to little you. Why is it on the ground? Her dad gave her a deck, and it's her favorite thing. She takes it with her everywhere. So little you is definitely here. But there's a fork in the road up ahead. Hmm. Wait a moment. Did little you's father also give her a small box to store the cards? Ah. Oh. Yeah. A casket of tomes. I have one too. You can use it to oh, find her. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? It can locate nearby players. Yes. As long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Yep. Quick, get our casket of tomes out. We all got one. Hmm. There's three. Mm, let's see. There's Chang Yun and Little Fang. Aha! There's another player over there. That must be Little Yu. Okay. Little high, little high. Oh, there she is. Found you. Found you. <laughs> Hoarders I just brutally murdered. Don't worry. We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. Understand? Uh, yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for rescuing me. Of course. Now, don't go running off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. Yeah, that's the good <sighs> option. Paimon's glad she was okay. Me too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the Casket of Tomes idea. Yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh, guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. What a nifty little gadget. The Sumeru scholars who invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Changyun, we wanted to ask you about something. Yep. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card packs. I can't believe it. I let a thief slip right through my fingers. Whoa. Deep breaths. <laughs> Stay calm. It's all cool, man. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. If I'd been in your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms, I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. Exactly. He's crafty. If you're not paying attention, he'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? Not a lot. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm. But I did hear him grumbling oh. about how far away Inazuma is. And how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. He's in Inazuma. Gotcha. This guy sure talks to himself a lot. <laughs> Good thing. Well, it sounds like a pretty solid lead, so Paimon thinks we should follow it. But first, we should stop by the venue. Yeah, let's check on Hutao. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. <laughs> Don't worry, leave the card snatcher to us. Sure. I'm counting on you. See ya, kids. See ya, Chong. Whoa. Is it just Paimon, or... Did things suddenly get gloomier here after Changyun left? Huh. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Oh, Kaching. Yeah, they weren't together. What an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. What? We missed the final again? Ugh, Paimon was hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. Sorry. Uh, you're back. Did you find Chongyun? 
everything goes smoothly? As it could. There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Um, so who cow? Did you win your match? <laughs> of course. It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good old wham fam. I'd like to thank my fam. Okay. My opponent was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes, held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings of all my supporters in the audience, both visible and invisible. Wink, wink. Uh -huh. Can you guess what happened next? She won. Channeling all my skill and style, with a flick of the wrist, I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. What battle cry? Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted precisely six of the pyro persuasion. It was all over before I could say, Pyre, pyre, pants on fire. Amazing. You don't have pants. Wow. Sounds like your poem worked like a charm. Director whose play style is rapid but graceful. Like a lone butterfly navigating the depths of a forest. With a little luck beneath her wings, she soared above the competition. Oh my god, more poetry with Kazuha. Oh, luck. Oh, is a key ingredient in every success. Wouldn't you agree, traveler? Very much so. Oh, it's Ningguang and Charlotte! Finished with your business meeting? Yep. I have to say, the Tian Shuin has a very incisive mind. She's extremely insightful. I gotta admit, I'm kinda envious of Baiwen now. Oh, wow. You must be Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a pleasure to meet you, Charlotte. First the Traveler, now Kazuha. Feels like I've been inducted into the Tevat Heroes Club. Yeah. I remember when you made the headlines of the Steambird. Young Samurai blocks the Muso no Hitokatsu. Yeah, that is pretty epic. You captured the public imagination in Fontaine for some time. My oh my. I had no idea I was up against such a legendary warrior in our card duel earlier. That's all in the past now. I count myself as the fortunate one today for this chance to make so many new friends. Mm -hmm. Today is indeed a momentous day to have brought us all together. I propose that I treat everyone to a meal to mark the occasion. If it pleases you all. Sure. Oh? <laughs> Sounds like it's victory meal time. Count me in. You'll have to excuse me for a moment while I wrap things up at the tournament venue. I'll join you all later. See you later. This is great. We can have a nice hearty meal and get a good sleep tonight before heading off to Inazuma tomorrow. Wait a second, are the dice those big? <laughs> what the heck? Inazuma, does this mean you found a new lead on the card snatcher? Yep. Sure did. Investigating is what we do best. Well, okay, guess luck played a part in it too. Pretty much. I still have some things to take care of here in Liyue, so I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you to Inazuma. Okay, but remember to keep working on your genius invocation skills. You never know when Paimon Sensei will show up for a surprise inspection. Can we stop calling her Paimon Sensei? I've also heard some things about this card snatcher you're pursuing. Already? Well, nothing gets past Ningguang, huh? A new card back appeared on the market recently. It's extremely rare and bears an image of a treasure chest. Treasure chest. Some players are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of more okay, things how... of this nature, as they believe they can improve their luck. So I looked into them briefly to see whether there was any genuine commercial value in them. I quickly learned that every card back with that particular design had been scooped up overnight. There's not a single one left in all of Liyue. Oh. Initially, I thought this might be just another case of a merchant hoarding goods in hopes of maximizing their profits. But once I heard more, I realized it must be the thief you are after. How many of that card back does he need? Is there anything else unusual about these card backs other than their rarity? Unfortunately, since I didn't manage to procure one for myself, I'm unable to say for sure. All I know is that despite being custom made, they are not particularly exquisite. If they were, you can be sure I would have purchased one sooner. Okay. Hmm. The mystery of this card snatcher gets more baffling at every turn. It doesn't matter. Given how much he likes to talk to himself, he's sure to spill all his secrets sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, he does like to talk to himself. Every journey into the unknown is a mystery waiting to be solved. 
But often, it is encounters with the unexpected that make the journey all the more interesting. For instance, it was certainly a pleasant surprise for me today to meet top talents from all around Tevat. Yep, that's the end of that. Yeah, wait till the following day. Is there a secret thing here too? No, 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 no. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's about all it's for this mission. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!